Hello guys, uh, back with uh, part two. I went uh, back to the estate sale where I got the Hot Wheels and the uh, Red Lines and all the other toys. I uh, went back today for the half off day. I made sure I was first in line and uh, this is what I picked up. Uh, I w wanted some, there are some uh, Lesney Matchbox I was hoping would be there for the second day half off, but those have must, they must have sold yesterday because they were no longer there. Uh, so I ended up picking this stuff up. Uh, this jar was not there yesterday, and the lady that uh, runs the estate sale said she came across a uh, drawer full of watches and parts and bands, and she just threw it in this uh, jar. So I ended up uh, picking that up, and uh, this old uh, Ertl John Deere uh, disc, cedar, I think that's what they call them, and this uh, Loris watch. Uh, Loris is uh, an offshoot of Seiko, so everything here was a uh, half off, so I ended up paying $25 for everything. So I did put the uh, battery uh, battery in the Loris watch, it does work, so I ended up paying, you know, like $6 for this, so I think it's probably a $20, $25-$30 watch. And I told you guys before about the 1950s, 60s uh, Ertl John Deere cultivating uh, farm type equipment. Uh, it's really collectible and uh, I think this should bring probably around $40. So it's something pretty easy to ship. But to the watches, uh, it looked like a lot of ladies watches, but I noticed there were some bands. I could always, always use bands and watch parts and they looked to be uh, quite a few mechanicals in here, but I was uh, looking at it and I could not believe uh, there was actually some more Accutron bands in here. So I told you guys before about the, and they're the same exact style as the ones I got, as the one I got yesterday. So I was hoping maybe there might be an Accutron in here, uh, but just the bands uh, were well worth what I paid for the jar, you know, around four or five dollars I think I paid for the whole jar so let's uh, dig in and see what's in here so just a junk watch another junk watch uh, Timex see if it's gonna... I'm not sure if this is a mechanical or a electric. Uh, it is a uh, mechanical. Looks like it is going to work here. So that's a nice little find. Uh, that looks maybe a ladies. It's kind of small. But yeah, it's a nice little score there. Uh, some bands. Some more bands. Strap. Yeah, I could uh, use these for other watches. Genuine leather. So that'll be a nice band I don't have to buy later. There's all kinds of these generic looking watches in here. This looks to be like an old Timex. Yeah, ladies. Not sure if that's going to work or not. There's no second hand, you have to listen to it to see if it works. Uh, some watch parts. Another band. Oh, this is kind of interesting. A uh, Citizen. It's like a, uh, it's probably an analog digital slice uh, type watch. And these are actually pretty collectible. Uh, guys restore these, so this would be a nice uh, parts piece. So you'd be surprised uh, what these kind of things sell for. So I'll put that off to the side here. Another gold filled band. Another ladies. Parts piece. Another vintage band. It's kind of interesting. So I'll put that off to the side. 
I'm sure it's uh, might be just not stainless steel. Another stretch band. Like I said, I could always I could always use these type of bands for all the watches I get that don't have bands. Another band. Another alligator type strap. Looks like a bezel case. It's like another lady's Timex. Getting into some. I don't know what happened to this watch. I'll have to pick, take this apart to see the actual the maker. But this looks to be probably from the 1940s, I'm guessing. So I'll have to uh, take this apart and see who actually the maker was on that. Oh, here's a nice piece. It's a Waltham. And it's actually work running. So just probably from the shaking of the jar, it uh, started to work. So this is probably from the 60s, a Waltham, it's like 17 Joule. And it's a little interesting, it has the date on the bottom. So that's a nice little piece. That's probably a 20, 30 dollar watch right there. The red arrow. Set that off to the side, that's a nice piece. Have a Timex. And that's missing the crown. So that's just going to be a parts piece. Another strap band. Another strap. Have a Gruen Precision. And it's like this one's actually running too. See on that sub dial. Yeah, this one's actually running too. It's like looks to be gold filled. It's a nice little watch. So there's a nice little stack going there. Another ladies Timex. Uh, this looks like to be the back for that citizen. So I'll set that off to the side. Have another Timex here. Looks like this one's working too. Self winding. It's probably from the 60s. So it looks like I have four working mechanical watches in here so far. Here's another band. I might have to dump these out to see it might be easier. It's like there's the module for the citizen. So yeah, it looks like it's an analog digital watch for that citizen. I'll have to pop in a battery and see if this actually works. So I didn't have no idea what this the value is. But I would not be surprised if uh, this watch actually works, if it's a 50 to to $100 watch. Uh, like I said, these, uh, these analog digital watches from the 80s, 90s uh, are pretty collectible. So here's, looks like, yeah, these are the Accutron bands. Well, I think there might be actually three of them in here. Yeah, three need to be cleaned up, but three more gold filled Accutron bands. And they're made by Duchess USA and 10 karat gold filled. So, yeah, probably another hundred dollars at least right here just in these bands. Uh, they look to be pretty nice. I think they'll actually clean up a little bit, I think they're just dirty. So I'll give those a polish and see if those will clean up. But yeah, it's a great score just for those. Wow. Let's see what else I got in here. 
U.S. Time. Uh, U.S. Time was actually before Timex, so this is probably from the uh, 50s, early 60s. Let's see what else we have in here. Just some watch backs. Let's see if this will work. This looks like a lady's watch. Yeah, it's not ticking. I think that's from earlier. I have a Casio. So I'll put a battery in, see if this one will run. That's an acrylic crystal, so I'll uh, might be able to clean that up a little bit. See if that one works. Just some more uh, cases, some more crystals. Let's see what else we got here. Here's a Timex of the blown out crystal. So yeah, I think that's everything. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this find. Uh, four or five dollars for all this stuff, and have these uh, Accutron bands. Uh, I listed the one I got yesterday already for $79.95, and I've had 30 views on it already in like 12 hours. So, uh, yeah, I think these are going to be great, great finds there. Then have the uh, Casio digital, or, I'm sorry, it's a Citizen uh, digital analog. I'll have to look that up and actually put a battery in that, see if it actually will, will run. And I. I'm not going to actually keep that. If this is running watch, uh, I kind of like these nerdy type watches, so I might actually keep that. And uh, these mechanicals up here with the, probably my favorite, uh, the Waltham. Yep, still running. 17 joules. It's like this might be all stainless steel. Uh, just a stainless steel back, so the outside is just like a uh, mixed metal. But still uh, really nice. I'll actually clean up that acrylic and it should look even nicer. So thank you guys for watching uh, my watch videos, and I'll see you next time. And I cannot believe it, but I actually put it together and put a battery in. And this watch is actually working. At least the uh, the digital part is. I'm not exactly sure about the analog functions yet, but that's just amazing uh, how resilient these these things are. You know, this the module was thrown in this jar, all clinked around, and it actually still works. It looks like. So uh, yeah, I was right. Uh, this is probably worth around a hundred dollars now. Uh, with it working. So like I said, I haven't tested the analog functions yet, but it looks like the uh, the digital functions seem to be working. So yeah, it actually tells the temperature. So yeah, what an amazing find in there. Did not expect that. So even a better find. See you next time.